Hello, NHL DFS players. Let's talk about player groups. We're going to start off in the player pool. I'm going to show you how to quickly generate a couple of groups and then build lineups. So you can see we have the line feature where we show the even strength and the power play lines. I have it sorted by power play right now. I go down, I conveniently have a bunch of Toronto players here, all three, power play two, right here, that I can go add to a group. So I'm going to just click this group button, hit new group. That gives me group one. I now click it again. That gives me the green check mark. So then I go to the other players here and add them to group one. I now have three Maple Leafs in group one. I can do something similar if I just sort by team. I can go try to find line one for Washington. So I can add another new group. Then I can add Ovechkin to it. So then I go find more Washington line one. Here we go. Add to group one. Whoops. Needed to add him to group two. Take him away from group one. I can easily do that. And one more goes to group two. So now I've got six players in my groups. I need to go into the groups though and adjust. Right now the default range is zero to one player. If I go build my 50 lineups, this isn't really going to give me the entire line stack. So what I'm going to do is bump these up to three and use exactly three players now if I set my range to three to three. I don't need to worry about conditional players yet. I'm just going to build a couple of line stacks with Washington and Toronto. See if I can get my 50 lineups that way. And boom, 100% of the six guys I have got in my groups here. So I was able to generate 50 lineups with those two pairings just by making those two player groups from the player pool. Until next time, this has been Nicole Valencia for the Lineup HQ 2-Minute Drill. Thank you.